What it be, it's your boy Dre OG. Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're rocking with the vibes and the content. But look, I got these creepy videos. This is, hey, look, we just gonna hop into this video, man. Just make sure that y'all smash that like button. Hopefully y'all having a good day. Just know we're going through this thing called life together. Nothing but good vibes over here. But look, let's get into this video. Have you ever had a feeling that there's a supernatural presence lurking in your house? Maybe you've seen a fleeting shadow out the corner of your eye or felt an inexplicable coldness. The feeling can elicit goosebumps, even though you're not quite sure what you're experiencing. However, if you suddenly start hearing a disembodied voice, the situation becomes harder to ignore, especially if the voice sounds eerily like your own. According to TikToker Marissa Ryan Stan 69, that's exactly what happened to them. They were lying in bed when they heard a mysterious me, voice that me? sounded just like theirs calling out to them from another room. Shh. Watch. Come here. Come here. Come here. I, I, I can't be real. I don't imagine it going it down like that. The voice is saying, come here, in here, come here. Hey, in here, come here. I've got something, come here. You ain't got nothing for me. Come here. Come here. Absolutely not. I'm not coming there. You, you step in the hallway real quick. I got something for you. According to a it's comment a from the original puncher. poster, the mysterious voice responds to theirs yo, yelling school. louder when they too raise their voice. In a follow-up video, we see the poster frantically pacing around the house. My family home. I grew up here. And we've never had a single experience. They ask the audience for help identifying the supposed supernatural presence that's causing the disturbances. I just need somebody who knows what this is. To please reach out. I don't care if it's in a comment or... Privately, just please reach out. Although this time the eerie voice remains silent, it seems that the presence still might make itself known. As the TikToker nervously moves about, we can see an unlit candle. You know what, before he even get into that, like my whole thing is, my question is, why is he still there though? Like, how is this possible? Like your legs didn't like automatically start moving, like jumping through windows and shit. I know my legs just start working on their own to get me up out of there, G. You know, sometimes your pride don't let it get the best of you. That, that's that's wild. Sitting on top of Same. the toilet. However, just before the video ends, survival, a people. flame can clearly be seen. Somebody please reach out with an answer or some help or something. Thank you. So is this TikToker's house really haunted by some sort of paranormal force? Let me know where you sit on this in the comments down below. When you live on the edge of the woods, you never know if you're being watched by something hiding among the trees. In this video, uploaded to TikTok by Adventure.Bigfoot, we hear a child telling someone to go get their parents. The dogs are barking in the backyard and they don't seem to know why. While they wait for their dad to arrive, the child keeps the camera focused on the backyard. Their father soon shows up. He ventures outside to get a better look and notices something moving among the trees. Watch. Oh yeah, right there, look. Where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? While it's hard to see at first, a close up reveals what appears to be a furry bipedal creature. Oh yeah, right there, look. Oh. The figure quickly disappears behind the ridge. Luckily, the child's father manages to spot it again. And at one point, he thinks there may actually be more than one of them. Whatever it is, it continues to walk among the trees for some time, oh, perhaps wild. unaware that it can actually be seen. As wow. You ain't got your whole punch Some viewers you. think it's just a human. However, its height and furry appearance seem to suggest otherwise. Could this mysterious creature really be the legendary Bigfoot, as some of the comments were saying? 
Or is there another explanation behind this rather revealing video? Let me know your theories down below. You know what's crazy though? These book, these Bigfoot, they're big, right? But they're so damn elusive. If that is, if that is one. But it looks strange though, I ain't gonna lie. Recently, we reported on a spate of mysterious UFO sightings that have occurred all over the United States. Yeah, it's been, in it's each been case, turning up. they seem to have three glowing orb-like objects in close proximity to one another, seen moving about in the night sky. Here's the one we showed a few weeks ago, caught by Reddit user Expensive Ad 1774. Captured on the streets of Washington DC, the video shows three orange lights floating in the sky above the busy city. They slowly shift their position before eventually disappearing into the clouds. The post quickly gained traction on the platform with several viewers noting that they too had seen similar lights. They describe orange lights that fade in and out as they maintain a similar pattern. Some people claim to have seen the lights blink off completely, while others have witnessed them moving at breakneck speed before disappearing altogether. This photo, captured in Long Island and posted to Imager by Necrid41, shows objects that are eerily similar. The person who snapped the picture said that the lights began in a triangle formation before moving into a straight line. Yet another curious individual captured footage of a similar sight. This video, which was posted to Reddit by Gooky Space, shows a triangular formation created by three orange lights in the sky, with what appears to be a fourth rogue light floating at a distance. Mm, it's moving too. Uh, we see. Commenters there. said it looks just like the video from Washington DC. Wow. With so many similar sightings occurring, one has to wonder what these mysterious objects actually are. Could they be alien craft observing our planet? Or is there another explanation, perhaps the military? For now at least, they'll have to remain genuine UFO sightings. You know what's crazy though? We do have those type of capabilities at the same time. You know what? They're probably just the military, probably just laughing at us. Like these motherfuckers still think this is aliens, you know? Like, but we do have those particular technologies, but at the same time, they're not on the same level. And they're not on the level ones that we see coming in solar system our planet it is what it is though uh. this next clip uploaded to tiktok by unknown rail fan 1373 is truly bizarre take a look at what they've captured that ain't good. Don't know who's running that, but I mean, yeah, okay. The train appears to have no driver. In yeah, fact, I noticed there doesn't that seem too. To be anyone on board <laughs> the vehicle at all. While this is certainly creepy in its own right, another TikToker by the name of Ethan News on Music has noticed something even more chilling about the bizarre train. See if you can spot it. Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. As the train continues down the track, it looks like there's a crouched, disfigured creature at the back of it. Yo. Around the world, there have been many stories of phantom trains. A funeral train is said to run from Washington DC to Springfield, Illinois every year around the date that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. There have also been accounts of ghost train sightings in the UK, Japan, Canada and Sweden. While some of these sightings have been explained, other phantom train mysteries remain unsolved. So then, does this video show a driverless ghost train wheeling its way across the countryside? And what about that mysterious figure that appears to be hitching a ride on the back? Watch the clip again and let me know what you think's going on here in the comments down below. Don't know who's running that, but I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, zoom in. That's, 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 
that's a little mysterious right there like i don't know that's a little mysterious where did it come from and why is that like not like been called in you know because don't other trains have to cross through there and that ain't going fast enough i don't know maybe they lost it on the way maybe somebody got ate the fuck up real quick you know what i'm saying maybe one of them robots escaped from the video i did yesterday hmm maybe I'll, maybe no telling at this point, we'd have seen everything. This illustrates accounts that were taken from multiple children in a schoolyard in 1994. Posted to Reddit by user 67899655, the image shows a large disc-shaped object surrounded by three smaller objects in a field. Several figures with large dark eyes can be seen emerging as a group of school children look on. The alleged sighting occurred on September 16, 1994 at the Aerial School outside Ruwa, Zimbabwe. The students were outside during a mid-morning break while the staff remained inside attending a meeting. When they returned from the break, several children reported seeing one or more silver objects floating in the sky. According to accounts, these objects descended into a nearby field where they landed among the brush. The students then saw creatures with big eyes and black clothing exiting the craft. Some of the children ran back towards the school, but those who remained had more to report. They say that the beings attempted to communicate with them telepathically. The message was Keep about an that incident too, right? that was going to happen and warned that humans have to stop polluting the earth. This is one of the most famous UFO cases in Africa and experts have devoted a great deal of research to the incident. Skeptics have attempted to explain the sighting as a prank or the result of mass hysteria, as some of the supposed eyewitness accounts differ in details. Yet others believe this might be due to the fear and shock of such a harrowing incident. While some of the children believe that the creatures were manifestations of characters from local folklore, experts say that the case presents compelling evidence of an extraterrestrial visit to Earth. You want to know what's crazy too in some of these, these, in these other countries, they don't be playing that though. They really do be documenting these things and they be taking it serious. You know, out here, they're the only ones that want y'all to keep thinking like out here and they want to, you know, know more about this before they present it to the world but if it's up to them they 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 to our extinction or it is what it the following photos are several stills taken from a hunting cam which was posted to reddit by user teddy roosevelt's rifle at first glance there doesn't appear to be too much to see besides a deer feeder surrounded by a fence but if you look more closely, you can make out a mysterious illuminated figure to the left of the feeder. The figure looks to be standing on two feet. It appears to have thin limbs and a rather large bulbous head with sizable eyes that are reflecting the glow of the camera. Like Davi. The second photo shows a zoomed in image of the figure, but unfortunately the resolution is very low. Yes, yeah, <laughs> like Dobby though. Since they were posted to Reddit, the photos have been rather polarizing. Some viewers think it's just a deer with its head down facing away from the camera. Others think it could be an owl, a cat, or even a possum. However, some have turned to the paranormal <laughs> for an explanation. Like they suggest it could be an alien or even a duende, a mythological creature comparable to a gnome. Unfortunately, these two images are just not enough evidence to definitively prove the identity of this strange figure. So for now, at least, this creature will have to remain a mystery. Yeah, that's that, that, that's crazy, man. We got a lot. We getting a lot of um, different sightings and stuff from across the world, y'all. And it, it's a lot of paranormal activity. You know, you got a lot of people that's vibrating at a certain level where they, you know. Are seeing these entities but i haven't seen anything like that since or experienced anything like that since i was a child but now i'm tapped into a completely different type of energy i think because I don't, I don't i don't see stuff like that but i my senses are there and i do know that certain things do exist you know i don't discredit anybody's stories until you know what i'm saying i can i can but at the same time you know um Really doing your investigation on some of these things because that one in the beginning with the uh, voices calling back to her and stuff, him or whatever, that could have been fake because look, I'm going to be real with y'all. If I got something in my crib that's talking back to me, sounding like me, and saying, nigga, come here. No, you come here. And y'all can... Right. Yeah. 
it's not going down. That don't sound like a good time. That sounds like something want to do something really to you. You know, so it's just hard for me to believe that that person is in that same house, bro. I'd rather go live in a shoebox down the street, cuz, like, real talk. Than, than be in that house dealing with that. You feel me? But it is what it is, man. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed y'all day. Take the time to spend with your family. Relax. You know what I'm saying? Get right with yourself because this year is an important year for us. Like I always say, spread love because it's taking this world. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video.